Bismillahi min shaitanir rajeem Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulil amri minkum And always a reminder for myself, Ana abdukul ajeezu da'ifa wa miskeen wa zalim wa jahar and but for the grace of Allah that we was still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us this life of tariqah and its immense blessings and immense way into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And this is the holy month of the fourth lunar month and the way of awliya and the secrets of the power of nine and opens for us the realities of Surat Yaseen and the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Yaseen and the immense lights and dressings and blessings, alhamdulillah. InshaAllah Allah dress everyone and bless everyone and all those whom trying to live a life of service is what renews our faith and strengthens our faith that people whom are gathering for the sake of Allah for the sake of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and for the sake of completing what shaykhs have asked from them that they have associations or guys now in Northern California having an association in their home inviting 20 people, 15, 20 people to come to their house to watch the zikr and watch the talks and later talk and have dinner and very noble for people to do that. To gather people for the sake of Allah and to watch the zikr and to conduct the majlis, inshaAllah Allah dress everyone, bless everyone and by means of this khidmat take immense difficulties away from ourselves, our families and our communities. This is the way of tariqah and the way of following guidance to take us to the Divinely Presence and to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad that for our lives we need a Imam, uh, Imam al mubin that Allah throughout Surah Yaseen is describing with these secrets and these knowledge from the hearts of awliyaullah that Imam al mubin the clear, they call the clear register and it says Imam where it's actually the clear Imam in which he leads all of creation to the presence of Sayyidina. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Sayyidina, Sayyidina, he leads all of creation Sayyidina Muhammad to the presence of Allah clear that everything is written within his reality and is the way to La ilaha illallah. There is no way to La ilaha illallah, the perfected way through except Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah and this is an immense honour and immense gift that Allah has given to this nation that to be connected to the heart of Prophet and to connect others back to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And we described in these messianic times in which people are calling for the arrival of their messiahs and ones whom will lead them towards the Promised Land. And if the Promised Land is the heavens and the Kingdom of Allah is to be established upon the earth 
then alhamdulillah that we're to follow Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. We're to follow that Allah I'm Allah and I'm a Rahmanir Raheem. I'm the most compassionate and most merciful. And the kingdom of Allah that we are waiting for is based on compassion and mercy. Compassion and mercy, this becomes the key to our understanding. Those whom don't talk of compassion and mercy, it's not the same kingdom that we're waiting for. So don't pile everybody into one bucket and say that, yeah, we're all the same. No, we have absolutely nothing to do with everyone. If they're waiting for Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, if they're waiting for God's compassion and mercy and the representatives must be compassionate and merciful. And this is the establishment of that reality. And we described before that if this is the banner of God's kingdom, Allah's kingdom that coming upon this earth is under Rahman and Raheem that the one whom acts and operates under the compassion of the physical world that is their key to open the compassion of the spiritual world. If they don't use the key of compassion in the physical world they have no key to the malakut of compassion. So it should be and should make obvious sense. The one who operates with compassion upon this earth, it's like a key. If Allah gave that khuluq and that character that you operate on this earth with compassion, then it's a sign you must have a key towards the compassion in the world of light, which is much harder to achieve. But ones whom operate with daggers on this earth where they stab people in the back, they stab people in the front, doesn't matter where they stab people. They're not operating from compassion and they're not operating from Allah's mercy. As a result it's clear to us that they have no key in the heavens. And this is what we described, we're not waiting for an antichrist because we have Sayyidina Isa salam. What Prophet gave to us of an immense, immense guidance is that, for my nation be careful of deceit and deception. And that becomes because the Muhammadan nation is so high. It's amazing that Prophet gave us this as our coordinates that be careful of deception and deceit. And now we see only deception and deceit and this is the greatness of the guidance of Sayyidina Muhammad And the purpose of following guides is to keep the clarity of perception in a world that clouds your vision, in a world that clouds your hearing, in a, in a world that make you to react through your emotions. The reality of guidance comes as souls whom Allah made like mountains. Khalaqtahum the the awtad like jibal like a mountain upon this earth. They don't shake and they don't move and rarely things shock them. Because they're rooted deep with their soul into their spirituality. As a result when the soul is istiqamu fi tariqatit, that when your soul is so firmly planted in your way the physicality barely moves. But when the soul is not firmly planted in its faith and in its way the physicality is bouncing from left to right, left to right. And you see them go somewhere one day, come back another day, go to this way one day, come back another day. They are like a blowing in the wind, like when a sail has gone out of control and the wind has taken it and they're just blowing left and right. Jibalan awtadan means that Allah is describing for us 
their creation are like mountains firmly rooted because of their spiritual practices and where Allah has dressed the soul. As a result they keep the clear coordinates for the nation like a lighthouse that as shaitan and the dajjal that Prophet has given to us as the as the warning, as deception comes, this way of awliya is teaching and reminding us that come back to your senses, don't let him play with your ears. What you're hearing on social media is not true. What you're seeing on social media is not true. What, what you think you're perceiving is not true. Even you may think it's true, it's not true. Everything they're operating with is a deception and the purpose of these mountains in the last days and they become like uh, shining stars on dark nights. A najm and the light because we call darkness zulm from zulamat that whether the night is dark or our lives become darkened. When people perceive there's no hope. This is a perception of no hope when they perceive there is no chance. Whatever they're perceiving from the faculties of their ears and their eyes that shaitan and dajjal are playing with then guidance becomes ever more important. Those whom don't rely on a satanic system for understanding, they don't rely on satanic systems for their hearing. They don't rely on satanic systems for their seeing and they don't rely on satanic systems for their rizq and sustenance. Everything for them is provided by Allah Almighty. Means this mountain is then something people anchor themselves to because as the deception increases the importance of the mountain is much more much more important just to keep people every morning to wake up, recalibrate themselves, watch a video, watch the guidance, watch the reels that are coming out, watch the videos that are coming out. It recalibrates us to make sure that we are again focused on our path, that the ears haven't gone astray, the eyes haven't gone astray, the thought process hasn't gone astray as the dajjal is now turning up his systems. And we see it, we see it with all the technologies that they're bringing out and alhamdulillah Allah gets us to be on top of their technologies. If dajjal thought he's going to bring this to fool people then alhamdulillah his plan is one plan, Allah's plan is better. Then we'll use it to attack their systems and their understandings. So this is a, a, an immense battle, an immense battle for our own souls and for the souls of our families and our communities and that we spread love and light and hope upon the earth like a lighthouse that can continuously sending out signals of light. Why? For all the ships and souls that are finding themselves in this zulm and in this darkness to be lost. So that there are rays of hope, those whom support that system then are immensely blessed and the shaykhs are praying for them because of their support. Without the support nothing can be done. If you don't support your shaykh and you don't think about your shaykh and you don't think about how is he functioning, how is he supported, how is he doing what he has to do then this is a big fault within the character of people because everybody emails that pray for me because they're self-centered. But what about people thinking that I should be praying and taking care of my shaykh and what he's doing, what he's operating, the functions and charities that he's operating I participate, the articles he's, he's putting out I propagate. So that my whole life becomes the focus of my teacher and in return I know that when I focus upon him, his focus is very strong upon me. 
And we said, this is our whole life. Everyone thinks they can do whatever they want and the nazar of Prophet is upon them. It's ridiculous. And that's why we come and teach people, do the mawlid, make your salawats, do everything that shows Prophet that you are immensely in love with his reality. When you feel that sakina and tranquility within your heart, why? Because you know that now his nazar is upon you, you live, breathe, eat, drink on how to propagate the love of Prophet the image and the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad everything about Prophet This is to take the example of your shaykh, that's how he lives his life and that's how he'll die from this life. And as a result you can see just by the proof of his pudding, proof of his actions you must know that Prophet must be continuously looking at him because look at how much he's trying to do to get their attention. Same for the student, when the student is only asking for du'a but never thinks about the shaykh and mashallah for all those whom every Jummah send a gift, every Jummah send a thank you, every Jummah send a, a, a blessings that pray for me, it's Jummah Mubarak. Means they live a life in which they express their love and they're trying to get the nazar of the shaykh. And, un, and a, without a doubt, people have to know that the nazar of the shaykh is completely upon them, their families, their life, and everything about what they're doing because they've committed themselves to that reality. So, everything we do for the heavens, it trickles to the exact same relationship. If we want that relationship with Prophet then we do it. We live our life, we live, eat, drink, breathe that reality and as a result you live a life under nazar, you live a life under tabarak and blessings that everything opens, every obstacle and difficulty vanishes. With time some things go faster, some things go slower by the wisdom of Allah and this becomes the struggle in our life. But even more so in these days of difficulty that as the storm is increasing, hold tight, hold tight. If you think you're holding tighter, hold tighter, hold tighter. So means that we're in a continuous way of how to propagate these knowledges. So it's the exact same thing the shaykh is doing. It's not a time to retire, it's a time to bombard the earth with this knowledge, with these realities. That's why we ask that there are some very good animes coming out from our people, very beautiful graphics coming out from people that all night long we pray and every night we're thanking Allah that, Ya Rabbi grant them him on strength. These are immense weapons against shaitan. If the dunya is using cannons and lasers and guns and bullets for people, imagine the power of these lasers, imagine the power of knowledge how it… when it faces the satanic kingdom it obliterates. Like a Divine light that comes and hits every type of falsehood and obliterates where the falsehood can no longer stand, it has no even an answer to give back. So these are… these are immense, immense for those whom within their heart they have a zeal to do these things, to put out the pictures, put out the videos, put out all of these knowledges, take the sobats and then re-edit them, put them into different things and serve in, in any capacity that they're serving. If Allah inspire hundreds more then imagine then what can be achieved and when those people come to support the tariqah, support the shaykh, support everything that the shaykh is doing, this system becomes nuclear fusion where it brings a power of the sun. You know nuclear fission is the satanic system in which they take the atom and they split it and Allah in Qur'an says, don't split what we commanded to be whole. 
Because as soon as they split something to make power, combustion engine explodes to make power, it takes something and goes. So our life wasn't about coming to the tariqah to take something and go off on my own. It was to come and to bring something to the tariqah. I gave my bayat, I did not take bayat. Take bayat is, I came to you guys, I took and something and I left. But I came and I gave my bayat, I gave my life to this way until they throw the dirt upon me and read my fatiha upon my grave. And as a result your life is committed to that reality that what are you going to give to the tariqah, what are you going to give to the shaykh of your time, of your effort, of whatever Allah has given to you, give it in the way of tariqah and the tariqahs are the armies of Sayyidina Mahdi in which they spread the light and the knowledges against devils, never hurting people because we're here to save people. It's the devils that are hurting the people, the devils that are obliterating and darkening the people. And the, the lights of Sayyidina Mahdi are coming to illuminate the hearts of people and to leave the satanic kingdom and all the delusions and illusions of the satanic kingdom. Whoever thinks that the Messiah is coming, you can see what the Messiah stands for, for what they're doing. So it becomes much more easier not to be fooled. If you think you're going to be fooled by that Messiah, well look how he's ruling out his carpet by completely obliterating nations and making parking lots out of communities. So what's coming from satanic kingdom is clearly satanic. What's coming from heaven the kingdom is completely heavenly under Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. We pray that Allah expand this love and the Sayyidina Muhammad expand this love and this nazar and this becomes the jism and the, the glue that binds our hearts. If we're not doing all that we can do, if we're not contributing the way we have to contribute. If we don't contribute our time and our ability and our continuous thoughts and heart in the way, there's a deficiency. You're deficient in this solidness and inevitably the wind will take people away. So means this is a time in which to lock our hearts and lock our hands and lock our feet to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and with the nazar of Prophet to bless ourselves, bless our families and bless our communities. The actions of the father dress the family, it's the fathers that have to be strong, the fathers that have to be bound. If you're worried about your children the greatest gift that you can give your children is your connection to Sayyidina Muhammad That love, that blessing, that connection dresses generations, generations of of people because that love is an eternal love. What you connect and what you establish of a love to the heart of Prophet lasts for all of eternity. We pray that Allah grant us these loves, grant us these abilities from whatever we have and of ability that we put onto the table and that Prophet accept it from us inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbalism. Salaamun wa mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa, bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.